Welcome back to the Manatee Buggies channel. Today we're working on a new cart, one that you haven't seen before. We picked up a uh, 22 Advanced EV Advent 6. It's the standard height six seater. Uh, it's got the vinyl, it's got the electric motor, it's got uh, lead acid batteries, which are not, we're not a fan of here, but uh, that'll probably change sooner or later, sooner than later. Uh, but we just picked it up the other day two days old we're already having to work on it so I figured I'd bring you along and show you what we got going on like I said it's the advanced EV uh, Advent 6 I believe is what they're called it's a nice cart like I said it's 2022 it's got the gray leather the white it's actually a pearl I didn't notice that till I got it in the Sun but uh, quick tour of it uh, advanced EVs they always have the black Black plastic grooves, aluminum trim on it. These have got US battery, 8 volts in it. You know, obviously, we're going to be changing that. It's got a decent charger in it. Seat belts are a little different on the Advents. They go into the body here. Um, the, I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, icons are bolted to the sides. The dash on this thing, well, it's kind of tore up, but um, standard steering wheel, kind of a golf cart steering wheel with the operation stuff on it. Card holder, pencil holder. The display is in here. Right now it doesn't work because I got the battery disconnected. Um, unique on these carts that I've seen, uh, we're just dealing with icons, is the forward reverse on the side, keys on the side. Uh, everything is pretty much interchangeable on these with the icon as far as most of the electronics I, that I've seen so far. So what do we got? So what do we got? So we picked this thing up on Mon no, Wednesday. I don't know what day it is. Picked it up on Wednesday from Street Legal Golf Carts up there in Panama City Beach. I think that's where they're at. Um, if you're up in South Georgia, Panhandle, uh, look them up uh, they're a good dealership um, I've had nothing but good good things um, interactions with them so far they've been excellent to deal with uh, but the got the car home Wednesday night played around with it drove it around um, and we parked it outside it sat there Thursday didn't move we didn't do anything with it um, so Friday morning this morning I went to move it to get it out of my way because I was going to cut the grass no go no worky uh, the batteries are fully charged I know this because I charged them um, turn the key on and you would get all kinds of weirdness going on uh, relays clicking um, if any of you guys are familiar with uh, pulse style fuel pumps it sounded like a... Well, the last time I heard this noise was on my dad's 71 MGB. It would, uh, whenever you turn the ignition, it would... And as the fuel pressure would rise, it would slow down. It would go... Same noise. Clicking relays. Flash and dash pieces. Uh, just absolute weirdness. Cart would not move. Everything worked. Lights would work. Turn signal would work. The obnoxious backup beeper would work uh, radio would work so all the 12 volt accessories would work battery meter would not work it said zero percent cart wouldn't move wouldn't go forward wouldn't go reverse if you did put it in reverse the beeper would the obnoxious beeper would beep and if you took it out of reverse and put it in neutral it would still beep faintly so all kinds of weirdness um, called them to see if they had any just specific thoughts talk to Jason the service guy who actually prepped the cart for sale um, they were kind of baffled they said just check the relay sound like the relay went bad underneath the dash so long story short uh, I had to tear it apart took the uh, on the advents they've got two glove boxes on either side and then they've got a center storage but the tub fits in here, and this is nice because you can close it and have a semi 
semi dry storage. Um, so anyway, what we found was, what I found was, after some looking and everything, was this plug, sorry, right here, and its mating partner, right here. I don't know how well you can tell. I'll throw a picture up on the screen of a close-up, but it was sitting like this. Sorry. It was sitting like this on the bottom down here in this well. And there's a drain for this for this tub right here. And the drain goes straight down here right onto this plastic, which is fine. It goes off and drains out. But the bottom, the bottom four to five, six pins were completely underwater and this was all black. Like I said, I'll throw a, uh, a uh, picture up here. It's hard to see on video. And then this sucker, this is the male end. This is what it looked like. I don't know if you can see that if it's turning out right. But you can see the bottom pins are all brown or the carcass here, the insulator. It's all brown and dirt. And you can see the black, the back where all kinds of dirt and mud are in there and it smoked it so that's my predicament um it the cart works now um it did act a little funky when uh i shot all that out with you know contact cleaner electric contact cleaner blew it all out with a compressed air and the cart worked um it worked and then it didn't work once um, it wouldn't go in reverse it would go in forward but it wouldn't go in reverse so i put it in forward went ahead one foot put it in reverse and it went backwards again so i don't know it was crazy and the the battery gauge still didn't work at that point the cart would move but battery didn't work, work, work the battery gauge would not work so we charged the batteries got them up to 100 percent. they were already at like 95 um and then Miraculously, as soon as I backed up and went out and put it in drop forward and literally drove the cart half a foot, the battery meter, boop, it came back on. So I'm not really sure. I don't have a schematic on these carts yet, but I don't understand why the battery meter would need a pulse signal from the motor that is moving forward or reverse or whatever. Anyway. So what we got to do is replace this this connector. Um, I'm going to do it just because, uh, you know, some people say, oh, I just pack it full of dielectric and call it a day. Those pins are smoked. They're not as bad as I've seen. They're not like melted off, but they've been, they've been hot, bad connection. And they were feeding some kind of juice through this thing. It was doing all kinds of funky stuff. I mean, when you turn the main off and you turn the main back on with the key off, you heard all kinds of stuff. Pop, pop, pop. You know, the the dash, the instrument would light up faintly. Uh, the sometimes the reverse horn would would do this weird stuff. So anyway, I don't have. It's a ten pin. I don't have a ten pin. So what we're gonna do is um, in my other job I use uh, I think they're Sumitomo's uh, four and six pin uh, connectors for other other work I do and being this is a 10 I'm just going to replace it with a uh, male female six and a male female four and just call it a day um, I did find the root cause of the issue with this plug and I'll like I said I'll throw a photo of it up here somewhere the the seal, when it was put together originally from the factory or somebody, when they plugged it in together, and you should see it up here somewhere, the mating part that slid in there went under the seal and shoved it behind, shoved it backwards, which gave it a nice hoop of open area for water to just to go right into the plug. And like I said, this this plug with the the this part, the brown, black, burnt part, was sitting like this, vertically, vertical, and these part, these pins at the bottom were just full of water. Um, it had been going on a while. It just didn't just happen. Um, 
it just reared its ugly head because it sat out in a monsoon yesterday for, I mean, it's, it hadn't rained here in months, but um, it, it rained pretty good, pretty hard and heavy, and that box drains directly down to where these plugs were sitting underneath it. So that was the whole problem. So I'll bring you back when I'm done and show you the end result. It should be a lot better than what it is right now. Okay, we're back. We got that done. Uh, I'll flip you around and show you what we got going on. All right. So we got the uh, got the old connectors cut off, and uh, yeah, they were uh, pretty burnt. Like I think I showed you before, this one was this is the back side of the one of them that was uh, pretty crusty. The connectors were pretty bad. So we got this one. We got this this one all done. That's the six. We got the four. That one's all done. And we got the corresponding receptacles, females down here, six and four. I don't think it's going to matter. I wasn't about to. Uh, I was going to have to buy, uh, you know, some kind of quantity of those other ten, ten pin ones to make them work, and uh, I'm just, I just wasn't going to do that. These are actually, I like these better. I know they're good. I know they'll seal. And I know they work in a marine saltwater environment. So they'll work on a golf cart. Um, side note, I wish these carts would just use tin wire. This wire is it's just regular old copper. And from the shorting out and stuff, those several of those wires, the four that were in that corner, um, yeah, they were... They're pretty bad looking. Um, trimmed them back and got pretty clean copper. But uh, yeah, I wish they would use tin wire on these things. So we'll pop this thing together and turn on the key and I can connect the battery. Then turn on the key and hopefully we won't let the smoke out of nothing. Uh, verified the wire colors match three times now. So should be good to go. I guess I didn't hit the record button. I was out there talking to myself at the on the cart. I didn't do an outro. So basically we hooked up the battery, we checked everything out, turned the key, no smoke was let out. We ended up, it worked just fine, no issues, no problems, no runs, no drips, no errors. So that repair was done. Not something I was hoping to do. I mean it was a brand new cart or new to us. It was a 2022 cart um, with not a tremendous amount of miles on it so I was hoping to get along without having to do major repairs on it within two days of purchasing it but it is what it is that's what you get when you buy used so thanks for watching and if you like the content give me a thumbs up if you want to subscribe I'll have more videos with uh, cart content coming up thanks